Yo, 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 guys, Stefan Joe with Tic Tac Go, and we are here for episode two of Antiques Roadshow in Maumee, Ohio, at the Maumee Antique Mall. Take a stroll with us, shall you? And let's see what great treasures that we can find. So giving you guys an overview of the Mommy Antique Mall, guys, this place is huge. So just a little bit of a heads up, we're actually gonna break this segment into four separate segments. They're not going to air back to back to back to back. We'll kind of intermix them in between. But this place is a collector's haven. Uh, it's got something for everybody, whether it be memorabilia, rare antiques, different types of collections that maybe you're working towards. This place has it for everyone, so stay tuned for more. Okay, and starting off today's video at number five is a 1983 hard plastic Cabbage Patch Kids lunchbox. Now the Cabbage Patch Kids were actually formed from a patent in 1976, but really didn't create their big huge craze until the early 1980s. And these lunchboxes were very popular during the 1980s and during the 1990s and would have usually a thermos of some sort maybe some Tupperware bowl on the inside. This one in particular was in overall good condition. There weren't really any damage, scuff marks, um, scratches or anything like that. A little wear and tear, but that's to be expected from the 80s. So cute design went and let's look at some pricing. So overall on a different, a lot of the websites here, you can see one with the thermos included was for $9, $28, Next one here, you can see for $12, and the one at the store in particular did not have its thermos, and it was listed for $20. So overall, we would say this was a no deal, considering it was missing some pieces, but it was still a very cool and nostalgic item to look at, so. And next up, we've got a wooden phone booth. Don't see these too often. Uh, Seems almost archaic now, days of the past with phone booths. Crazy with how we've evolved from a mobile world now. But kind of a, a neat piece here. Pretty good condition as well. You can see um, there's different components. You can see the ventilation system here at the top. On the back, there is some writing on it that you will see as well. But all the components do look like they're fully restored. Probably in working order here to where you could hook up the phone inside the booth itself and make and take calls. So kind of cool there. And you know, you don't see these very often um, in terms of restoration, you know, what type of condition they truly are in. But looking over this, this phone booth itself, seems in relatively good condition as far as the restoration. Pretty good deal overall, I would say. So let's kind of dive in here and think about, does this really make a deal or a no deal? So based on the research we found, some comparable models, you can see right here, $2,100 for this wooden phone booth. And this phone booth, I believe, was from 1969. Here's another one for $4,500 restored. This one is non-restored and still going for $9.99. So we take a look at the price tag here of $7.95 at the Mommy Antique Mall. We're going to say yes, it is a good deal indeed. All right, next item, we have are a variety of commemorative $2 US bills. What's unique about this is the vendor had a whole variety of different ones. You can see first, uh, Civil War, uh, Mount Rushmore, JFK. And the unique factor with these is the color that's printed on each $2 bill. These $2 bills were issued from the Merrick Mint, which is a big supplier of colorized currency and each one has a unique serial number. Now the $2 bills first came into um, the market and production in 1862, and there was only a 10 year span up until today that they weren't actually produced. So they are more rare than any other bill. The cost to print each $2 bill is 5.5 cents. Um, each bill on these comes with a unique certificate of authenticity 
and let's do some research and see if this vendor has a good deal or not. So here you can see on several um, different variety of vendors, you can get them anywhere from about $10, $15. Um, here you can see another one for $10.95. And the ones at the store were actually listed for a firm price, so no negotiation of $29.95. So this would bring us to no deal. And we've got a 1970s era Easter Bunny blow mold, which is kind of cool. These were all the rave um, kind of back in the day, whether it had been Halloween, Christmas time, any other holidays. Um, always a lot of folks had these lit up and outside for decorative purposes. This one is in good working order, as you can see. Uh, it's lit up, it's functioning. There's no cracks, no dents, nothing uh, negative. So really good uh you know condition overall and it's a pretty nice little piece here so in terms of looking at whether or not it's a deal or no deal we did some comparable comps um you know on ebay different channels this one 29 dollars this one 135.79 so quite a big difference there plus you've got shipping for a lot of these things here's one for 75 and again, we know for a fact that this one is lit and it's in working order. $40, it is a deal, guys. Awesome price on this piece. All right, and our last but certainly not least item of the day is a vintage 1970s era Humpty Dumpty cookie jar. So this was something that's really cute. It's a novelty item. Definitely unique. I've never seen one like this before. And this vendor had it and is in great condition. Um, there was no wear and tear on it, no chips, no markings. So overall, it looked to be in great condition. And we wanted to go home and do some more research on it, see if it is a good deal or not. So let's see. This one right here, you see it was $150. It's a higher price item. This one, we saw them all the way up to $219. This one here, it was super cute little matching salt and pepper shakers for $160. Um, the one at the store did not have that, but it was listed for $75, which overall, in this great condition, we'd say would be a great deal in a steal. So definitely worth the pickup. Hope you guys enjoyed segment two of Antiques Roadshow. Like we mentioned, we've got three additional segments for this antique store in itself, so stay tuned. And guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Feel free to share these videos if you know an avid antiques lover, if you know somebody that loves paranormal, collectible videos, um, we're the channel for that. So please make sure to share and subscribe. Looking forward to bringing you some more riveting content. Appreciate your viewership, and we'll talk soon, guys.